Oh. Oh, oh, oh. Good morning, everyone. It's such a great morning today. Let's check out the window. Good morning, I'm Mrs. Bunbury. Today we'll be cooking French toast. Look at it out there. I can't believe it's already morning already. Hello, morning. Morning just came to say hello. How are you today, morning? Owl snow below. How are you today, morning? Don't forget the cane to fool the upper class and the bourgeoisie. How are you, morning? Time to go say hello. Whenever I'm an early worm, I usually try to, um, just, um, wait a minute. Are there any ghosties in here that I should be aware of? Anyone? Is there anyone at all who is in this house? There's a lot of stragglers these days in here. I don't I can't see anyone right now. But yesterday there were several people in here. It's okay. I run a bed and breakfast now. It's called Bunbury Bread and Breakfast. So B Let's see, that's B B B Bunbury Bread and Breakfast. So that's three B's. Also, my house is alive now. I'll show you what I mean. Good morning, Gerald. How, um, how are you today? Are you good? Gerald? Hold on, he, he needs to um, get rebooted, you know, because he's a computer. You know that movie where um, they have the house and it talks to them, but then it's evil? It's kind of like that. But he's nice. Oh, there he is now. Good morning, Reginald. How are you? This is Bunbury. Precious the system. Avoid. Watch television. Yeah, Reginald was always that creepy one. He's a creepy robot. Some other creepy robots from entertainment are The Terminator, R2-D2, um, District 9 robots, um, um, you know, just scary robots that want to eat your flesh. General Grievous, well, he's a cyborg. So, yeah. Reginald, could you uh, play me some Saturday morning cartoons, please? Seven, nine, zero, one, Ew, stop doing that. That's two. creepy. Okay, someone's a creepy person this morning. What's gotten into you, Reginald? Hmm? Do you need an update? Hmm? What, what's wrong? Do you need an oil change? Reggie? No signal. I guess that means no Saturday morning cartoons for Mrs. Bunbury. I'll, you know what? I'll make my own... Saturday morning cartoon. Okay, so once there was a person named Small Man. And Small Man said, I'm going to go on a mm, walk today. So he went on a walk. So, oops, this is not Small Man. He said, I'm going on a walk. He, so he walked through the forest. He la 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 la. Um, but there was a monster. It went blah. And so it had all these tentacles, like a Lovecraft man thing. And so the Small Man said, 
oh my goodness, where is that coming from? And every time I looked back, the monster just went into its hole. So he didn't know that the monster was there. So he just said, oh my goodness, what's going on with the monster? Because I don't know where he is. And so then the monster just came. And it went all the way into the sky and came back. And uh, then... So then, um... Hey, you can see my face. Whoa! Whoa! Whoa, I'm falling. Whoa. Uh, uh, uh. Eat the flan. Eat the flan. What the heck? How do I get in the next room? Hello, Charles. Um, this makes no sense because I no, I'm Mrs. Bunbury. You're not making any sense, um, dream me because I actually fell down and I'm having a dream because I hit my head. Charles, it's, it's me. Your old business partner. Hey, that's how I used to sound in the 80s. Stop talking like that. In 2017, I talk like a sophisticated gentlewoman. I do not speak like that. Charles. Oh, Charles, you silly, silly man. Hey, don't call me silly. I just had the weirdest dream that I was talking to myself from the 80s because back in the 80s I talked weird. And then I was like in the ring and I woke up. I think. I really don't know. What do you think, Timothy? Do you what do you think my dream means, hmm? No nothing? You're gonna help you're gonna say nothing to me after I bought you all those Christmas presents, like that awesome card and that song? Hmm? You better run. Sacre Blue, it's Mrs. Bunbury. Yeah, that's right. Take that. What could this strange dream mean? Dream mean? Dream mean? Dream mean? If only my child Benny was here, he'd be able to tell me, my son Benny is very wise, he's a wise little boy, he would be able to tell me what to do next, in this great world of confusion and chaos, 
through two years of wandering the plains alone after an exile, then coming back to my house only to find I am a stranger to it. Maybe he would tell me to drink from some great river of knowledge or whatever, but alas, he has flown, he has flown the coop, as they say. I just don't know what to do. I really just don't know what to do. This is Bugberry? <gasps> what? You? What happened to Mr. Bunbury? Wait, what did you just say? What happened to Mr. Bunbury? What happened to Mr. Bunbury? What happened to Mr. Bunbury? I journeyed through the harsh winter, through the prickly fen. I got back home when I realized when the truth was in front of me. Eat the flan. <laughs>